Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing Bullet Rye. Let's get into it. All right, so here is our bottle for this evening, Bullet Rye Frontier Whiskey. And let's first do a quick history of this bottle to figure out how it got the bullet name and how it became Frontier Whiskey. Well, first off, it got the bullet name from a man named Augustus Bullet in the 1830s. Now, Augustus Bullet eventually started making high rye whiskey at this inn he ran out on the frontier. So at that time, it actually was Frontier Whiskey. Unfortunately, since then, uh, that name has been passed along through a couple of different companies and revived recently. And now it is actually a source product. And this is a source product, but it is still a high rye mash bill. As it says on the front, it is 95% rye. So that is a very high rye. But it isn't really Frontier Whiskey anymore. It's source whiskey. And this particular bottle happens to be sourced from MGP which is where a lot of NDPs or non-distilling producers get their source products from. MGP has kind of become famous for sourcing out whiskey. But with all that said, let's get into this bottle and see what it's all about. See what this high rye mash bill from MGP has to offer. All right, so as you can see, this is not my first pour. It's been opened a little while, probably a couple months now. I've had a few pours of it. And uh, so let's get into the nose and see what we can find. All right. So getting maybe a little bit of like green tea. Definitely some mint in there. I'd say like a spearmint, not a peppermint. Definitely kind of a licorice note coming through, which if you're fans of the channel, you know that's not one of my favorites. There is kind of some fruity notes. I would say probably like a plum, very sweet plum though. There's also like an orange note showing through. And a little bit of a hay note on there as well. So not a bad nose. I'm not uh, super excited about finding that licorice note on the nose, but we'll see how it goes on the taste. Let's take our first sip. Well, the nose definitely tells you what the palate is going to be like. You definitely get kind of some of those green tea notes in there. Uh, there's certainly a lot of licorice presence. Um, there is some kind of fruit notes, but it's kind of covered up by those other things. There's a lot of kind of green grassy notes in this. There's also kind of some hay notes in there. You, you are getting some citrus in there as well. I would say it's probably more like an orange than a lemon. It's not quite as sour as a lemon. Um, all in all, okay so far. Uh, let's let's get it one more sip in here. That was my first sip of the day, so I need to wake the palate up and see what else we can find. So as I mentioned on the first sip, you're definitely getting green tea, licorice, kind of some citrus near the very front of the palate. As it goes into the mid palate, you start to get kind of this, uh, maybe like a dark cherry note. It's almost like a combination of like licorice and then like a cherry Twizzler is combined. So there's kind of hints of cherry in there, but also those licorice notes start to take over kind of mid palate going towards the back of the palate. And then as that kind of goes down into the finish, uh, you kind of get this nice sweetness, uh, kind of more, a little more cherry. And then it goes into kind of like a cinnamon burn, uh, but it's, it's a sweet cinnamon. It's not too bad. It's not super spicy on, on the finish, but it is a little spicy. So all in all, not too bad. Uh, I gotta say, not my favorite rye that we've had so far. Of course, we're comparing uh, lots of budget ryes right now, and uh, near probably end of December, we'll have a battle between all the ryes we're doing. So looking forward to that. But as far as a score goes on this one, I can't say that it's been my favorite of the ryes we've had recently, uh, but it wasn't the worst either. It's just kind of middle of the pack. So I'm gonna go uh, a 7.1. So just kind of average, nothing terrible about it. I, I, if the licorice note wasn't there and that was replaced with some other sweeter, more fruity notes, I think I would probably grade it a little higher, but the uh, licorice note kind of dinks it for me. But if you're a fan of that licorice note in Rise, then maybe that will do more for you. Uh, the other notes were fairly pleasant. 
But with all that said, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more reviews from me, then you can click right here to see more reviews. And if you're really enjoying the channel, you can subscribe right here. And as always, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.